All right, everyone. <clears throat> Today we are going to clear your doubt regarding this line, LD50, LC50, uh, ID50, uh, ED50. Whatever these terms, you know, I'm I've been searching this in uh, YouTube to check uh, my old videos and existing videos. I found out that these days people are typing this LD50, LC50. Uh, ID50 and ED50. There are four separate terms. What these terms say will be cleared in this particular video with very very simple explanation. So the full form LD50. Let me write it there. LD50 is lethal dose 50. LC50 is lethal concentration 50. ID50 is infectious dose 50 and all the 50s I am writing here and the last one is ED is effective dose 50. Now all the concepts are all of these four terminology are based on one single concept and the moment you realize that the moment you will understand that you will understand all four of them just the context are different but the concept is the same. The concept stated that in a test population, as a researcher, as a scientist, we need to run tests, right, before launching any drug, before administering any chemical in our body, before uh, injecting any microorganism in our body. As a microbiologist, as a biochemist, you need to always do field study. And in the field study, in the experiment, you always have some sample the sample here let's say number of individuals let's imagine there are 100 individuals in your test sample or test population among these 100 individual you are administering them with some sort of chemical or you are giving them some sort of medical drug or you are giving them some sort of <coughs> microorganism as a vaccine or any sort of microorganism and a single cell protein so you are providing them something as you are providing a drug or chemical or microorganism, you want to know among this hundred, how many of individuals remain alive, how many of them are getting killed. Now I am translating to Hindi for those, 100 logo ki ek population liya gaya, usme ek experiment chal raha hai. Usme 100 log mein jab hum wo, wo drug denge ya chemical denge, या फिर माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म बैक्टीरिया वायरस कुछ भी वहां पे इंट्रोड्यूस करेंगे उस 100 लोगों में से कितने लोगों को मार रहा है कितने लोगों को कितने लोगों को लोग बच पा रहे हैं दैट रेशियो इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज़ इफ वी आर ट्राइंग टू डेवलप अ ड्रग वी इंट्रोड्यूस दैट ड्रग टू दिस 100 इंडिविजुअल पॉपुलेशन एंड ओनली 10 सरवाइव 90 ऑफ 100 गेटिंग किल्ड इसका मतलब क्या ये होता है दैट ड्रग इज नॉट एफिशिएंट 90% ऑफ द पीपल आफ्टर टेकिंग द ड्रग आर डाइंग so you should never pass the drug. Similarly, if that is a toxin, which is released somehow in the, uh, by some microorganism. So we have the toxin, we administer the toxin in the sample population. Among 100, 5 of them only survived, 95 of them are dead. That means the toxin is very potent. So with the help of this concept, we can identify the potency of a toxin, the potency of a drug in activity. We can find out whether a chemical is good for our body or not, largely whether it's good for our whole population or not. So all this information can be gathered. So how many number of individuals survive out of 100 is the concept. So here this term says 50. 50 means 50 means half of 100, 50 percent. So all this concept follow the idea of 50 percent. 50 percent idea means what? Now let me explain, lethal dose 50, lethal means deadly, right, deadly dose 50, that means at what dose, at what dose 50% of the population will die, that is known as lethal dose 50, at what dose of a chemical, of a toxin 
50% of the test population will be killed is known as a LD50. Lethal concentration 50 LC50 at what concentration? Remember at what concentration? And earlier lethal dose is dose means amount. At what amount? Not concentration. Lethal concentration is at what concentration? 50% of the test population die. That is lethal concentration 50 or LC50. ID50, infectious dose 50. Again, at what infectious dose? At what number of microorganism will cause infection? in 50% of the testing population. So if you take 1000 individuals and introduce a bacteria which is transmitted via water, water supply. So among 1000 individuals, you know, all of them are exposed to that bacteria and trying to find out at what number 50% of the population will still survive. <clears throat> 50% will get the disease. So here infectious dose 50 means at what number of any bacteria or any foreign invader that is supplied to a population, 50% of the population will show the infection. 50% of them will show the infection. That is infectious dose 50. And effective dose 50 is again at what amount, at what amount you administer a drug or a chemical that will show some results in 50% of the population. So you are working with a drug, a, 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 B, C, D chemical, whatever chemical it is, you are administering that chemical to a larger population of individuals. At what amount the drug should be given so that it show result in 50% of the population because let's say we have a very good drug we are saying the drug can work very well how to test the efficacy we will introduce the drug to let's say 100 individuals among 100 individuals only 20 individuals are beyond uh, the infection uh, beyond the symptoms so the symptomatic relief is there only among 20 individuals so the drug is effectively showing any kind of result in only 20% of the population right not that 50 percent means ld 50 percent zero that value means 50 percent of the population is at least reacting to that chemical to that drug to that microorganisms to that toxin right so now this ld 50 this is a halfway through value this is this is this is d 50 value halfway through so if any came any toxins value as lower this side and high this side right so as the value is getting lower and lower that means very low this is very very low amount of the drug is killing 50 percent of the population that means that toxin is more potent more lethal didn't get it repeat again see between two different uh, Toxin, let's say toxin A, toxin B. Toxin A's LD50 value is let's say, and this value is generally determined by milligram per kilogram of individual. Milligram of toxin per kilogram of individual, the way effectivity. So we'll keep that separated, that's the unit. But let's say for, for A is 2, for uh, toxin B is 30. So LD50 value for toxin A is 2, for toxin B is 30. Now compare, LD50 value is 30 for toxin B, that means toxin B will, the chances are to wipe out or to kill 50% of the whole population if it is used in the amount 30, that is 30 milligram per kilogram. So 30, gram, 30 milligram amount of toxin is need to be used to wipe out 50% of the population. But toxin A requires only 2 milligram. Only 2 milligram per kilogram is enough to do the same effect. Wiping out 50% of the population or killing 50% of the population. So between 
टॉक्सिन ए एंड टॉक्सिन बी विच वन इज मोर पोर्टेंट विच वन इज मोर पोर्टेंट टॉक्सिन ए इज मोर पोर्टेंट मोर टॉक्सिक सो टॉक्सिसिटी वैल्यू इज हाई फॉर टॉक्सिन ए देन टॉक्सिन बी कीप दिस इन योर माइंड ओके सो दैट्स वाई दिस एल डी वैल्यूज आर इनवर्सली रिलेटेड टू द सर्वाइवल सो लोअर द वैल्यूज higher the impact in the population that's how they are designed okay on the other hand you can see the effective dose and again effective dose 10 means 10 very least effective dose for one medicine is 10 for the other medicine is 90 so effective dose 90 means you need to give 90 mg per kg of that medicine to show some effect visible effect in 50% of the population but another medicine effective dose do, do is 10 that means you need need to give only 10 mg per kg of that medicine to cure the disease on that same population so again the same thing lower the value the better it is on terms of that so for effectivity if you are checking effectivity or ed lower value is better ed if you are checking toxicity lethality the lower value is highly lethal if you are checking the infectious causing nature or infectivity of a bacteria or virus the lower value is higher infectivity that's the take home message from ld50 lc50 id50 and ed50 i believe you all have a clear idea after this video and if you don't get it in one go pause rewatch it is going to clear hopefully this video helps you out if you like this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends subscribe to get more videos like that in future thank you bye